All right, so I'm uh, kicking off a new trip here. I'm going to be headed on the e-bike from South Bend, Indiana here, or let's just call it Chicago. I'm only about 100 miles away. And uh, gonna be riding all the way to Boston. It's gonna be just about 1,000 miles. I'm gonna try and do it in 10 days. Um, kind of a flex day there where I can spend some time in Boston or if I run into any mechanicals or bad weather, I can uh, make up for it there. And I have a rental car from Boston back to South Bend Airport where I'm starting at here, where my uh, vehicle is parked. So all in all, should be a good trip. I'm gonna try and average about 100 to 150 miles a day. I've only got like the first three days planned and then from there I'm just kinda gonna ad hoc it based on the, the miles, how I'm feeling and everything. So I've got basically the same setup uh, as my 2021 trip. Uh, from Chicago to Denver. I've changed a few little things, uh, swapped out some stuff that's worn out, but I'll go over the bike in more detail in another video. Um, yeah, excited to do another e-bike trip. I haven't done a long trip in since 2021 when I went from Chicago to Denver. So really excited. Um, I'm only doing 40 miles today because it's already 6 p.m. I worked today uh, and then I drove to South Bend, uh, which is a couple hours. So I'm doing 40 miles to the town of Goshen, where I've got a uh, hotel. I stop there and find some dinner and then go check into my hotel and hopefully get a good night's rest and a fresh start for a long, like 130, 140 mile day the next day. So I'm gonna get the rest of everything packed up here and hit the road, excited. Someone called the cops on me because I was filming, filming myself in the airport parking lot. The cop stopped by, he was laughing. He's like, yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> so, all right, leaving the airport. All right, a little chaotic there getting out of South Bend, but uh, a lot of rough roads and potholes. But, uh, man, is it windy out. Ooh. Usually later in the evening the wind dies down, but it's uh, 15, 20 miles an hour gusting. I'm not even heading into it yet. All right, so I'm gonna take a left up here and start heading east directly into the wind for 35 miles. See, I'm pedaling. Oh, this is nice. It's actually, uh, it's been pretty uh, scenic once I got uh, out of town there. It's kind of forested and rolling hills. I thought it was gonna be all just open farm fields, but it's kind of nice. Some of this is blocking the wind for me. Just glad to be on the road. Glad to get this trip started. I'm excited for what's to come. Yeah, thank goodness I only have a short distance a day so I can not, I don't have to be conservative with the battery at all. I'm pushing almost a thousand watts. 
to do 22 miles an hour. The wind is just so strong. I mean, even with me pedaling and putting, I'm probably putting 150 watts down and it's putting a thousand. I'm only doing like 20, 22 miles an hour. Normally I'm very conservative and I'm around between 500 and 300 watts. But I, since I only have 40 miles to go, it doesn't matter, I don't have to conserve it. I'm in Amish country now, that's cool. Very scenic out here. Everything's really nice and green. But now there's road apples. I gotta watch out for them. I just went around some back there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I'm about uh, 12 miles away from the brewery where I'm gonna have dinner. It's right along a bike path that kind of leads almost all the way to the hotel which is like another three or four miles. So once I get into town, I'll be good. I just don't want to be out in the country uh, when it's dark. Uh, even though I am wearing a very bright shirt and I have lights on, it's just uh, better to be uh, in town on the bike trails. And you never know. So better to be safe than sorry. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep trucking along here. I think the wind's gonna start dying down too, but probably not until I stop. just realized I'm on Lincoln Highway and that's what I pretty much took all the way almost to uh, Denver like across Nebraska and across Iowa that's hilarious all right that was nice I stopped at the Goshen brewery there and had uh, all they had was uh, pad thai which is perfect uh, it was very very good a little spicy but very good had uh, two two beers they had there better guy that's part of the uh, trail association there talked to him for a bit so. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, headed down the bike path here. I've got um, about four or five miles to the hotel. So I'm going to try and stop at a gas station or something and get like a Gatorade uh, for later. But uh, yeah, good. I'm all set on time. Everything worked out in the end. Uh, it's not even, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's like, it's like 920 or something right now. So perfect. Probably not gonna get dark for another 10 or 20 minutes, so I should be all set. Uh oh, we got a bunch of geese ahead of here. checked into my hotel here. This is the first place I've ever been asked to, that I, or I've never been told that I can't bring my bike in the room. I mean, it's no different than someone bringing their wheeled luggage in. It's really no different than someone <laughs> wheeling their luggage through the parking lot, wheeling it in the room. Uh, I could tell just the lady at the service desk uh, had an attitude when I was already pulling in, so whatever. They put it in their garage. I, I I had to negotiate just to bring my bike down the hallway to, to take my bags off um, instead of carrying them all the way from the lobby. Anyway, they put it in the garage. Hopefully everything's fine. It's whatever. I'm going to take a shower, relax, and go to sleep. Um, looks like I'm going to have headwinds again tomorrow. So I don't know if it really matters if I get out early, but I do have almost, it looks like 140 miles tomorrow. So I'm going to try and uh, get out of here as early as I can. Um, so hopefully I'll get a good night rest and, uh, you know, 
be freshened up and my battery's charged and my bike's battery's charged. So I will uh, see you on the next one.